We are here, everybody. I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is Half-Life 2, Chapter 11, Follow Freeman. The toughest chapter in the entire game. So, let's get busy with it. Right here. Dr. Freeman! Barney said you were on the way. We got split up by snipers, and he's pinned down in a warehouse up ahead. Go ahead. He's relying on you. Lead on, Freeman! And we have one squad member following. Now, there are some items behind the Combine wall over there. And we will grab them later on, but first... We have this sniper down the street to deal with. Now, to deal with him, what we're going to do is use these doorways right here to run from doorway to doorway. Anything you say, Doc. Here goes nothing. And then make our way to the sniper as best as possible without getting shot by the sniper. You want to wiggle from side to side in order to not get hit. How do you miss a flower pot? <laughs> My gosh! There we go, you stupid sniper! Oh, well, he sniped off... My guy. Okay, anyways, we'll run to the next location. This is very tough to do. Yeah, look down that street. We now have two snipers. Oh boy, I'm right in, almost in the crosshairs. Let's run. We'll crouch down behind this truck, and then, finally, what we're going to do is throw a grenade in the window. <laughs> the stupid Combine Soldier Sniper is dead. So we'll go underneath his roost to pick up some supply crates. If we need them, of course. And so now we will go back to the Combine Wall. We must run, though, so as not to get sniped by the sniper, of course. And we will go behind the Combine Wall to pick up the items. And yeah, I'm bringing this armor battery with me, because you never know if I might need it. Okay, so now about the second sniper. We're going to do the exact same thing. Make our way down the street, using these corners right here and doorways, so as not to get sniped by him. Run, and wiggle from side to side. 
and then we'll crouch underneath the debris. Now, watch out for a couple of head crabs. So yeah, there are two head crabs inside there, and they sometimes will come for you, and sometimes they won't. The second head crab, there he is. Yeah, sometimes they'll come for you, and sometimes they won't. It just depends on their mood, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so now about the second sniper, we're going to use a grenade once again. Alright, so the two snipers have been taken care of in the street, so now they are clear. I'm going to go grab a couple of grenades right here to fill up, and then we'll enter inside here. You're Barney's old friend, aren't you? Maybe you can help him. Snipers trapped him up on that warehouse roof. He was going for a cache of grenades, but I doubt he can get to them now. Go on, Dr. Freeman. Alright, we got two more squad members following. So that's good. They'll help us out with the zombies here in this blue door area right here. Yeah, zombies to take care of in this area. So inside here, be aware of a third head crab that will not come for you, but rather he's hidden. And also a fast zombie will also come for you from down below in the basement. Where'd his head crab go? Like, I, I shot his fast head crab off. Anyways, we'll investigate the bathroom and grab a couple of health packs if we need them. There's a lot of blood here in this bathroom. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, there's the fast head crab. Okay, so before we go down there, do note one thing about this area. That these two doors right here are locked. We can't go Sorry, through there just yet. Okay, so now we will head down to the very watery basement. Help me! Help! Help me! We thought we'd be safer down here. Little we know, the place was infested. The rest of them headed upstairs. They took the chance with the snipers. I guess they're still up there. Zombies! So on the right side over here, there's nothing of interest to grab. It's only when you head down this watery area that you must be wary of fast zombies. Wow, I'm actually very impressed with that SMG grenade. That took care of everybody. And that's one ugly son of a bitch, that's all I gotta say. So now you will note that these two doors now become unlocked from this side. So yes, as you noted, there is a sniper on the left side that we must take care of. So we'll run to this corner. No, you guys! Anything you Whatever. You guys are dumb, so you guys deserve to die anyway. I mean, there's no point in keeping them alive anyway. And we'll throw a grenade in the sniper's roost to kill him.
Oh, there we go. He didn't say anything when I threw the grenade in, but oh well. Okay, so now the bottom floor is completely cleared out of snipers. And look up there. We see Barney Calhoun, our buddy from Black Mesa. And he's in trouble. Over here! Gordon, I can't move. These snipers got me pinned down. Gordon, lob a couple grenades. That'll clear them out. Okay. So as I said, the bottom floor is cleared out of snipers. We must head upstairs to his level, where we'll have two more snipers to deal with. Fly, my sweetnesses! Fly! Uh, yes, he escaped into the clouds. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so yeah, two sniper... Oh. You poor bird. He's trapped in the cement in the masonry over there. Okay, so we'll run to the left because the left sniper is what we'll take care of first. And also remain crouched down until you throw the grenade. <laughs> Shit! And he fell out of the window and died. Yeah, a poison head crab is over there. So we'll just snipe him off. Oh, I... I'm sorry, my sweetness. I didn't mean to shoot you. I shot the bird and not the, uh, the head crab. Oh, there's his corpse. There's one more poison head crab on the other side. <laughs> there he goes. We'll let Barney handle him. Well, maybe we can still get him. I don't want to get sniped by the sniper, though, but maybe we can still get him. I don't know. It's kind of risky. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, so the last sniper to take care of. What I do is I drop down below, actually, and I throw a grenade from down here. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. You took care of the poison head crab for me. Make sure to restock from the infinite ammo crate as well. You're quite the returning hero these days, Gordon. Well, thank you, Barney. It's good to see you again. And it's good to be back. Back in action once again. My civil protection status still gives me limited clearance. Did you hear a cat just now? That damn thing haunts me. Okay, so we'll search around for the Type 2 scanner's debris and make sure they didn't drop any armor batteries, because those are always a good thing to have. But in this case, they didn't drop anything useful or important. So we will continue on. Watch the head, Humpers, Gordon! I love you, Barney. Marry me, Barney. And we enter the next section, right here.
Oh boy. Now they give us grenades here for a reason. There's a turret up there. So yeah, two Combine soldiers are also... will open the door, so make sure that they die. There's an old building up ahead, a, a bank or a museum or something like that. Whatever the hell it used to be, now it's a nexus for Overwatch in City 17. It's the main source of pain for this part of town, thanks to a huge suppression device. It's raining down hell from the roof of that place. Whoops. So a suppression device, eh? Well, looks like we gotta shut down the suppression device then, if it's raining down hell. I mean, really. anyone coming through unless we shut it down. Then let's go! Toward the truth. Choosing instead to embark on a path of ignorance and decay. Make a mistake, Dr. Freeman. This is not a scientific revolution, you sparse. This is death and finality. So much for stealth. We've been spotted! Yeah. You've seen the suppression device firsthand right here, what it can do. Very deadly. Now watch out for a turret on the left side right there. gate I was telling you about. We'll have to come back here after we get it open. If we get it open. First, we gotta get into the Nexus building. So there is the Nexus building, but it is protected by a combine energy wall right there. So we must make our way around the wall to get inside. So let's just run from the suppression device. Hide in here first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're gonna be stuck. Here they come. You're not gonna hurt that thing from down here, Gordon. We'll have to shut it down from inside. I'm trying to, Barney. I'm trying to get inside the Nexus building. Okay, so here, we're blocked, so we'll have to go back the other way. And we'll go to the right side of the blue container right here. Just run. Very difficult room, two Combine soldiers inside here, so make sure that they both die very quickly. Nice. It's why I used an SMG grenade for this part. Okay, we will proceed further, but we must be wary of a Combine soldier inside that area right there. Immediately snipe him off when you see him. And then run for the underground shelter. My goodness, this is... this is getting tense, everybody. 
Let's run for the doorway straight ahead, but be ready with an alternate fire. Well, I guess maybe not. Damn it. That did not go as planned, but you know what? We roll with the punches. Okay, yeah, guys, make sure you get some weapons from that rack right there. Now, sometimes you can save the uh, citizen that's in here if you use the alternate fire from the pulse rifle, but in this case, the citizen died because of the combined soldier that didn't die. So, okay, we must be ready again as we exit out of this area. Now, what I like to do, I like to lead with a grenade for this next part, in the hopes of taking some of the Combine soldiers with me, or with the explosion. Wow, that, that grenade actually did a lot of the work for me. I'm actually quite surprised. What? What in the world? I... Okay, these are supposed to close up when the Combine soldiers exit out of here. I have never been back here, actually. It's obviously an unfinished area because you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, look at that. Completely unfinished from this side. Okay, you're not supposed to go inside there. The doors are supposed to close. What you're supposed to do instead is go around this way, the long way around. And then pull the plug to lower down the energy wall so we can proceed to the next section. Alright, we are inside the Nexus building, so let's find a way to shut down the suppression device. You know, once and for all, but of course there's going to be traps on the way there. Oh yeah, make sure your citizens pick up the pulse rifles from the racks if they need them. But in this case, yeah, everyone has a pulse rifle, so that's a good thing in this case. Uh-oh, turrets. Hey, you've got the HEV suit, you deal with them. Then I'll work the security console. Okay, so here's how they work. <laughs> in there if you've got one. That ought to do it. Great. I'll open this up. And here we enter inside the museum of City 17, which of course has been converted by the Combine into a suppression device. Or at least housing for a suppression device. Ships. They'll be coming from the roof. If we want to get through these shields, we'll have to take out the generators one at a time. You got it. Follow me. So yeah, two Combine soldiers will come for you from the exit sign corridor, so make sure that both of them die. So yeah, inside this museum, the stairs going up has an energy wall, and the corridor to the exit sign also has an energy wall. The only way to go is through the corridor on the right side, but it has a turret inside. So what I do is I toss a grenade off the left wall so it bounces inside the turret hole. <laughs> Just like that. However, there's one more turret inside there on the right side, and it is complete BS. So, what I do is something a bit interesting here. 
I don't wade in all the way. What I do first is I go get some more grenades, because I want as many as possible. Because like I said, this turret is complete BS. Like, for real, and you'll see. What I do is I walk through the lasers to open up the turret. But then what I do is I just wait. I wait for the turret to go back inside the floor after a couple of seconds have passed. There we go. Then I tell my guys to stay behind by just Let's pressing go. the C button over against the wall, and they you will... Well, hopefully they'll stay You're behind. They're not going anywhere. Okay, now when you enter inside here, watch out for two combined soldiers. And then wait for your guys to walk in and trip the trip wire to reopen the turret. Come on, you guys. There we go. Like I said, complete BS this turret is. It's very difficult to manage, so this is the only way that I know how to deal with it. You know, effectively, that is. So yeah, make sure both Combine soldiers die. They sometimes hide over here as well. But we will continue on up the stairs. Now the first thing you want to do is don't go across the wires just yet. What you want to do is go inside this room first. Hey! Let us out of here! Hey, Barney, do your thing! Hey, it's Freeman! Let's follow him! <laughs> yeah, let's blindly follow me, please, because, you know, who knows who you're following, right? <laughs> no, uh, medic. Thanks. This will do nicely. That will do very nicely. You are now armed and dangerous. Okay, so yeah, the basic principle with this area, these two turrets are complete BS as well. There's two turrets, yeah. So what I do is I have my guys stay inside the prison area. Come on, really? What are you doing? We want to take over the world, not take over Hostess Donuts. Okay. What you want to do is just run right in between the turrets. Get away from there. And then just roll a couple of grenades inside the turret holes to take care of them. So on the right side of this area right here with the first generator is this area right here. This will be the last area we investigate, and you'll see when we'll do that. The area on the left side is the next area we're going to go to, but first, we have a generator to take care of inside here. Generators to disable. Might as well start with this one. Hey, you've got Eli's gravity gun. Try giving those generators a jolt. <laughs> See if you can shake them up a bit. Man, Overwatch owns the roof, and that's where we're headed. Okay, two more generators to go. Okay, with this first generator down, the Combine soldiers are going to be pissed off at you. So what I do is I hide in the prison because there's only one way for them to come. They're going to come from every direction, so I like to sure funnel thing. my guys inside here so they can only come through one doorway. Here they come! There's going to be more coming. And I mean a lot more coming, okay. Oh. 
Those shotgunners, man, they are not playing around. Thankfully, that Combine Elite was able to kind of be not very good and bounce his projectile off the wall like that. Okay, with the first generator taken care of, I'm going to restock a little bit on the HEV suit that I lost. I mean, that's why this machine is here. It's to recharge you. And so now we will head across the bridge that I said we'd come to next. Now what I do for this turret is I send my troops down this side passageway so they won't get in the way of the turret, or me. And then I crouch behind the table and then use the table as a shield as I approach the turret. And then just roll a grenade inside. Very simple. Okay, so this is a dead end over here, so we want to go where our troops were headed. What I do is a bit different. I skip this room for right now. What I want to do instead is get one more combine encounter going while my troops are right here in the perfect position. I head down the stairs and then run back up the stairs because Combine soldiers will come for you and your guys are in the perfect position to take care of the soldiers that will come for you. This is a great opportunity for this moment. Okay, Barney, you gotta be careful. I'm not gonna watch your ass all the time. Yeah, as you see, that was not difficult. That was not difficult whatsoever with a bunch of my guys, even with low IQs. They were still able to take care of them for me. So that's why I wanted to get this fight out of the way early, because usually the fight takes place later on with the second generator gone. But I wanted to get this one out of the way first. And so now we'll investigate this room right here. Wow. With that much security, there must be something good in there. Go for it, Doc. I'll wait here till you shut it down. Be careful. Yes, take Gordon's... Whatever you say. I mean, Gordon's. Take Barney's advice. Be very careful. You see these red wires? If you walk through them, it will activate the ceiling turrets indestructible, you can't kill them, and they will kill you almost instantaneously. So do not brush up against the red wires. What you want to do instead is make your way around the wires by just doing what I'm doing. Just jumping across the wires, going past the wires, and by the way, about the hoppers, do not detonate them. Rather, suck them up with the gravity gun, and then just drop them gently. Do not punt them with the gravity gun. You want to lay them in this corridor that I'm in right now. And you'll see why later on. Yeah, we'll crouch under this red wire, and then go to the right side. And then, what we want to do when we get to this area and the pipes over here. We want to go underneath this pipe and then carefully jump up without hitting the red wire and then jump up here and then jump onto the right pipe. You have to jump crouch, jumping and then crouching at the top of your jump. And now it's okay to drop down and turn off the switch.
and that will disable the security inside here so your guys can catch up with you. Here they come. All right, we have an arsenal again. Now, there will be one combine ambush that will come for you from over here. You hear that? The dropship landed on the roof, and here they come. What I do is I use the wall on my right side as a hold point while they come through this energy wall right here. It's pretty simple, as long as you watch for grenades. Those grenades, man, they can be so deadly. Okay, yeah, one way you can tell that your that your squad member is injured is if they are bleeding. Take this med kit. Well, I don't need the med kit. Your other medic needs the med kit, sir. Um, hello? Are you gonna heal your buddy? Or are you just being a skinhead? Pardon me. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've ever seen a medic not give he must be a skinhead, yeah. Okay. Yeah, by the way, look at this. A bust of Breen is no more. Let me get out of your way. Okay, and we enter inside the second generator room. Remember, there are three generators. And, like before, this will piss off the Combine Soldiers. So once again, what I do is the exact same thing. I like to use this wall right here as a hold point while I fight the Combine Soldiers that will come from the Energy Wall. Now sometimes with this group of Combine Soldiers, they can make their way through the area with the hoppers. You know where, where I drop the hoppers? And that's where the trap is going to come in handy for them, for the Combine Soldiers when they walk into it. So just be prepared for that, if that ever happens. And yeah, it's a long lull. You have to literally wait for the Soldiers to come to your position. But it is worth it to stay here, because it's advantageous to do so, I think so. So how's your day going, guys? I'm... Because we're just waiting here for the Combine Soldiers. Well, that's not all of them. Nope, here, here they come. Yeah, you hear them detonating. <laughs> Well, it didn't kill anybody, but at least it wounded. Reload. What, what do you think I'm doing with the gravity gun? Goodness, Barney, you're like a... a thorn in my flesh. You're... I'm trying to help out as best I can. Oh well, yeah, by the way, about the pictures inside here, they're actually kind of neat. I think this is the only spot in the entire game that you see these type of photos. Now, I know I have a lot of subscribers who know a lot more about Half-Life than I do. Do any of you guys know what these real-life photos are? Because they look like they're real photographs. So if you guys have any information on that sort of lore about Half-Life, please let me know in the comments what you guys know about that. Okay, so here's where that fight would have been, but we took care of them already. 
and we come to the third generator area, the last to the roof, one. Gordon. Well, not to the roof yet, Barney. We still have the third generator. That line was not supposed to happen right away. <laughs> And now we enter this area. This area is one of my favorite areas inside the Nexus building. And you guys will see why. I like to save these supply crates. I don't bust them just in case my armor drops below a certain level. And then I bust them open because there'll, all, there'll always be armor batteries inside. Okay, so what I do is I lay one hopper at this entrance the entrance we just came through and the second hopper at this back exit don't worry about trying to kill all the combine soldiers in these little holes you're not going to Because what you want to do is look at the monitor and see all the combined soldiers on the other side. You can grenade them. Now about the other side as well. But see how easy that was. Take this man. Yeah, it's literally just that simple. A lot of people overcomplicate this room, but it's really not that bad as long as you just use the grenades that that they literally give you. I mean, there's a whole supply crate full of them. Grab some more supplies if we need them, and... This is why I like this room. It's just you can make a mockery of the Combine Soldiers. Okay, now about this turret. This is also a very BS turret. What I like to do is I like to run against the left wall because there's two turrets and hide in this corner. Your guys will eventually be able to hide, so don't worry about them indefinitely being exposed. And once the turrets go back into the floor, I like to run right in between them and then quickly... Come on, pick a side, please. Pick a side, please. Thank you very much. So I run in between the turrets, and I like to roll a grenade into both of them from in between them. Okay, really? No. You're like one of those stupid drivers on the road Over all here. the time. The ones who can't pick a lane. Please don't be like that. Just get over there and stay over there, please. Okay, so we'll run in between them and get your guys to trigger it. What in the world was that? No! The, the grenade was inside the hole. It killed the turret. I was not supposed to take damage there. That is complete BS. But you know what? We roll with the punches, don't we? <laughs> we are going to survive. What are you doing? Here, patch yourself up. Yeah, thank you, skinhead. I appreciate it. 
Okay, so yeah, anyway, we made it to the third generator room. Sorry. <laughs> wow. That's it. They're all down. That'll shut down the suppressor on the roof as well. Let's head for the roof now, Gordon. All right, everybody, let's follow Barney because he knows where he's going. But one more wave of Combine soldiers. This is a big one. I'm trying to be aggressive because Barney is walking right in the middle of the group, and that's not what you want to have happen. Oh, Barney. Come on, Gordon. I'm coming, Barney. My goodness, you're starting to agitate me now. Watch it, Barney. There you go. Do not. Miss these wall machines. They are very nice to have after a battle like that inside the Nexus building. And also Let's don't miss the, the supply now, crates right here. To the roof, Gordon. Roof access is this way. There's our gate. All right, let's Let head for the roof. Done. I'm gonna stay here and keep these gates open long enough to make a difference. Go on up and connect the sky bridge. We need to let reinforcements come through from every possible direction. If any more citizens come through, I'll send them up to find you. See you when I see you, Gordon. I'll see you, Barney. It was nice to be by your side once again. All those Barneys in Black Mesa, it was so much fun. Okay, so... A precarious situation. They give us an RPG on the ground. We also must be wary of the turret up there. Now, what I do, your citizens will continue to follow you. There are combined soldiers up here, at least two of them. So I try and get my troops to go up there first. Well... Maybe not. Reload, Dr. Freeman. Okay, so yeah, at least two Combine soldiers. Here goes. Come on, you guys, get out of my way. Lead on, Freeman. That's the one thing about narrow passageways. <laughs> okay. Well. And away you go, you stupid combine soldier. And we enter the next section. Welcome to the rooftop, everybody. So, there are three Combine Soldiers on the right side, and then two more Combine Soldiers will come for you when they are dead. Wow, I couldn't have asked for a better situation than that. 
the secondary fire. Okay, so one more Combine soldier needs to be sniped off from that roost way up there, so make sure that he dies as well. And here it is, everybody. The street war has begun, or is still in the making. Okay, so when we go down these stairs, we must be ready. Was that seven rockets that hit the gunship? Hope I'm playing on hard. Yeah, I am. I wasn't even counting the rockets. I was just gonna shoot until he died, but I... I guess that was seven. I don't know. I have to go back and recount to make sure that was seven, but I'll do that after this section is over. It just didn't feel like seven rockets successfully hit. Come on, you guys. I need you guys to help me out with the upcoming section. Because we have a Combine dropship and he's going to drop Combine soldiers and Combine elite. So what I do is I have a hopper ready to just throw right in the midst of them when that Combine wall right in front of me opens up. I get everybody. I have never... Nope, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, they call these guys Combine Elite for a reason. They really are elite soldiers. Okay, so I guess that's everybody now. So we'll refill at the machines right here. Okay, let's connect the sky bridge, just like Barney said, right here. This will allow troops of ours to get across to the other side. There they are, the SMG grenades. Okay, you guys stop shooting down there. I thought you were shooting at more enemies up here. I can't even begin to tell you how many soldiers that is. That has to be at least over a dozen soldiers. I'm going to go back and make sure I grab all of the items that I need from on the other side of the sky bridge. 
Yeah, this chapter throws everything at you, and to do a walkthrough really is difficult. I mean, this is not easy. I'm trying to be as thorough as I can, but yet try not to die. <laughs> Okay, the rooftop has been cleared, the sky bridge has been connected. We are now ready to go to the next section. <laughs> okay, well, they'll follow me eventually. Okay. Man, it's so quiet, isn't it? Since you shut off the suppressor and open the gate, we can really move people through now. The Combine's gonna feel the squeeze. Oh, we dropped a crate of rockets coming across the plaza. If you can make it there, you should have everything you need to take down these striders. Come on, everybody! And now we enter quite possibly the second hardest part in the game. The plaza fight. There's... There's many different ways to do it. Um, there are two striders out in the plaza initially when you go there, and then two more will show up when those two are dead, and then one more will show up when those two are dead, for good measure. However, we don't have access to the infinite ammo crate full of rockets, so we need to make our way to that crate full of rockets by not killing any of the striders until we get there. Hard, but not impossible, so just do what I do. Sprint for the tunnel right here, and then hide, and then wait, because sometimes the second strider will walk inside the hole right in front of me and try and catch you off guard. See, like, right here. But then, the strider will eventually leave, and that's your cue to step out. and then run to the right side for this underground shelter. We're almost there to the cache of rockets. Oh boy, there's a Strider right outside there. Oh my gosh, he's right on top of me. Okay, well, this will make it very interesting. I like the challenge. I really do. Oh, boy, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to live through this. These striders hit so hard. This is so tense, everybody. I, I'm really tense right now. Let's do it. Run to the right side. Yeah, as you see. Oh, thank you for the supplies. This is your hold point for the two striders initially. So let's take them out. Oh my gosh, he's also right on top of me. This is so much fun, though. There's the infinite ammo crate.
These striders hit very hard. I love the sound these striders make when they die. I love it. It's so... synth-like. What in the world was that? And here comes that third strider. Yeah, they'll crouch down like that sometimes to avoid the rockets. Rockets will actually penetrate the tree branches, which is kind of cool. finally relax for just a little bit because the fifth strider will not show up until a little bit later. For right now we can snipe off the combine soldiers way over there. Now, I'm going to backtrack a little bit during this respite period for two reasons. One, to show a cache of supplies I did not show off during my, you know, taking off period of this. And two, to snipe off a couple more Combine soldiers. So here's the cache of supplies right here. Not much, just a couple of rocket launchers and some health packs. And then from here, you can snipe off a couple of the Combine soldiers. So that way you don't have to deal with those troops later on. When you enter inside here for the health machine, 
the fifth Strider will show up. Now, one thing about this Strider is that he has a couple of animations he has to do, some scripted events. This is your opportunity to take advantage of that. See, he's programmed to shoot his beam into the wall over there. It goes pretty quick, doesn't it? <laughs> now the Combine soldiers over here, they need to die. For realsies. Run over, then run back. This will get some more Combine soldiers all pissy at you. Okay, what am I doing? I can just... I have an infinite ammo crate full of these damn rockets. Why not use them? I mean, come on, Big Mac Davis. Come on. Okay. I think... Yep, uh, there are... Uh, since I sniped off the ones down by the left shield, all the rest of them are dead. <laughs> yeah, you can see all their weapons right here as well. Okay, so I'm going to backtrack, make sure I have full supplies of everything that I need, and make sure I didn't leave any supply crates or whatever. <sighs> I'm surprised that plaza fight went as well as it did. Usually it gives me a lot more problems. Those striders are sons of bitches, and they will strip you of your armor and your health like there's no tomorrow. Anyway, with this area cleared of supply crates, we can move on to the next section. And now we enter the underpass foot race against a strider. That's right, a strider will break through that wall right there and will chase us down the underpass tunnel. But first, let's snipe off a combined soldier right there. So make sure that he dies quickly. Now, as you're walking down the underpass, when you get to the center green dumpster right there, the Strider will break through the wall and chase you. And that's your cue to start getting the hell out of this underpass. Run! So yeah, three Combine soldiers inside this room right as you exit the underpass. And a couple of scanners as well. Now you could, if you really wanted to, use your three rockets on the Strider right now. It won't kill it, but you can do it from here if you want to, your three rockets. But it is not recommended. There's an easier spot coming up for that moment. Run. Thank you, girl, for getting out of my way. I didn't want to die by the grenade. My gosh. A face full of Combine Soldier is never a good thing. So yeah, two Combine Soldiers, so make sure that both of them die. Oh, 
couple of scanners as well, and one dropped a battery for me. Yeah, always check the remnants of the scanners for batteries. The stairs going up are blocked by debris. So the first thing we want to do is actually locate the bathroom area for some supplies. Cover me while I reload. So we'll grab what we need from there. Yeah, an infinite number of Type 2 scanners will come for you, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Oh gosh, he's right outside that window. Okay, there we go. Run behind the slab. Wow, that's a blinding white light, isn't it? My goodness. There's a couple of supply crates over here. And then one supply crate over here. So just grab the supplies from here. And then you want to carefully time your way up the slab of, of cement right here. Well, actually, there's going to be a Combine Soldier. There we go, finally. Okay. So yeah, like I said, you're going to want to time your way up the slab of cement, making sure the Strider does not see you or shoot at you. And then hide behind this slab right here. Here she comes. Okay, if you want to, you can go down these stairs and grab a couple of supply crates if you need them. But now, we have just one more floor to go up. Oh, yes, an armor battery. We have one more floor to go up before we reach the infinite ammo crate full of rockets at the very top. Hey, okay, let's go. Yes, we have to go across these thin areas right here, but we made it to the infinite ammo crate. And now we can take down the Strider from here. Must remember the armor battery that dropped down there. Yeah, this is actually a dangerous combination with the Type 2 scanner's white flash and the Strider's bullets. Just be patient. Take your shots well. Hide when you need to behind the slabs of cement. And always take care of the scanners before they reach your position because they will blind you. And when they blind you, you can't see. Want to be patient. Want to wait for the volley to end from the Strider. And the underpass tunnel and the adjoining buildings next to the underpass tunnel is mine. It belongs to Gordon Freeman. 
Yes, you stupid strider. I'll let one more come to me. One more Type 2 scanner. I want more armor batteries. Ah, but in this case, it didn't drop anything. Okay, yeah. Oh, two armor batteries. Well, aren't I special? There's a lot of scanner parts down here. So yeah, like I said, an infinite number will come for you. So you could, in theory, wait around until you get a hundred armor if you so desire. But I'm not going to do that for the sake of trying to keep this as brief as possible. For the sake of the walkthrough. Now, um, one more. One more. And of course, he would drop an armor battery. All oh, right. Good thing I stayed around then for just one more. Now, of course, I'm going to have to drop down there, aren't I? Nope, I guess not. Okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> really, that's enough. Now, one more. <laughs> okay, yeah, seriously, that's it. That's everything. I'm done. Let's jump across. And here it is, everybody! The final Lambda location of the entire game. If you followed this walkthrough and you found them all, this is your last one. Congratulations, you've unlocked the achievement called Lambda Locator. So, good job, everybody. You did it. And let's go to the next section. Dr. Freeman! It's a mess out there. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to Striders. I think we can push them back if we can just get to high ground. We're almost to the Citadel wall, Doc. I don't know how the hell we're gonna breach it, but you've made it this far. I'm sure you'll think of something. Welcome to the final push, everybody. We are almost to the Citadel. We have to get to the horse. The horse? Well, it's nice to see a familiar face right now. So yeah, four Combine Soldiers are inside this parking garage, so make sure that all four Combine Soldiers are dead. But also be aware that there's going to be three Combine Elite that will come for you from this slant of debris right here, where that Strider is walking around. Yeah, three Combine Elite. Gosh, we fired an orb at each other. Okay, so now you see why these guys, these Combine Elite, are so tough. They are specially trained soldiers that did not go as planned whatsoever, but you know what? Like I said before, we roll with the punches. Now, do not miss the armor batteries inside this van. Also don't miss the... Well, I guess I already grabbed the Magnum that was inside that van, so don't miss that as well. Now when the Strider walks over to the right side, that's your cue 
to start running for this building. So yeah, two Combine soldiers will come from that hole over there, so make sure that both of them die. Now again, when the Strider goes to the right side, run for the hole. And then once again, wait for the Strider to pass overhead, and then sprint forward. Run right now. So inside this parking garage, you will hear some beeping. That beeping is coming from bombs from underneath the parking garage floor. So basically what you want to do is approach the front end of this white car, but then run backwards when the beeping sound increases. So yeah, three Combine soldiers on the other side, so make sure you snipe them off. And now we enter, quite possibly, the toughest section in the entire game the climb up the ruined building. Like before, there's many different ways to do it. At the very top of the ruined building, there's going to be an infinite ammo crate full of rockets and two striders. But there's an infinite number of combined soldiers on the way up. So what I do is I sprint my way past all the rooms and take out the combined soldiers in my way. So just do what I do. Okay, so stop inside this safe room right here and wait for a Combine soldier to come for you. Now, there's going to be two more Combine soldiers Reload. at Dr. the top Freeman, of the stairs. Hey, so watch out for that. Okay, so with the Combine soldiers dead at the top of the stairs, we want to run for this corner. And then just avoid the Strider and continue on down here. There's a Combine Elite inside here. Okay, good, he's dead. Now down here, do not become a sitting duck. What you want to do is take out a certain number of Combine soldiers, and the Strider will blow open the wall after that is accomplished. Take 
I just stand right here in this corner. You're not leaving without me. There we go. So run for the new opening and run inside this room. Okay, so here, look for the stairs going up. There's two Combine soldiers up here if they haven't already died, you know, already. You better reload. And here it is, the final stand, everybody. The final stand against two striders. Let's analyze our surroundings here. Take this med kit. Yeah, that gunship, as long as you avoid it, he will not fire at you. You know, hide from it. He will just move on. This is a very difficult battle. You guys, just... Dr. Freeman, wait! We'll come with you. Gosh! Oh my gosh, yeah, that's his secondary fire that he uses. Okay, once the first one's down, the second one is not too bad. Oh my gosh, he's all pissy at me. Wow, look how fast I got drained. I am going to go back down. I cannot risk it with no armor. I just cannot risk it. Oh, 
<laughs> Gosh. But we're still not done yet. There's some combine soldiers. Now, we can breathe a sigh of relief. The ruined building and the area close to the Citadel belongs to me. It is mine. Gordon Freeman owns this. In fact, not only Gordon Freeman, but this area belongs to the pony, the horse. It belongs to me. What a victory this has become. We're going to breach this son of a bitch where Breen lives and take care of him. But for right now, what we're going to do is backtrack for some supplies. Pardon me. In fact, yeah, I'm going to show it off, actually. I was debating whether to show this off or not, but I am going to show off how to backtrack to the parking garage. Because, see, we can't jump up to the upper ledge from here. We had to jump down from the ledge to progress, but we can't jump back up. So to do that, what we have to do is go back up to the top of the ruined building. And then we must locate... Where was it? I think, yeah, it was right over this wall. We're now inside the parking garage, where we can now progress like we did before, but this time pick up the supplies and whatever else we skipped over when we didn't need it at the time. Keep touching the fire, but that's okay. It just takes one armor away. But still, one armor is one armor. Yeah, six crossbow bolts. That's really nice to have. So yeah, you do want to backtrack like this, um, especially if you do play on the harder difficulties, and even on easy, you want to make sure that you remain stocked up. It's very important in all video games, really. It's one of the first things you learn. <laughs> Believe me, you learn, and you learn quick, to remain stocked up. But uh, that's it for the supplies, so now we can progress. And to progress, we must make our way across these narrow scaffolding ledges without falling down, of course. It's why I'm crouching so as not to rush and accidentally fall down. through the plaza knocking over walls and I think he's looking for Alex he seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble but hell you try stopping him hey 
Dog, not there. You can't get through that way. Well, I'll be damned. I think he wants you to go through, Gordon. You'd better hurry. Did we really make it? There it is. There's the citadel that we have to breach. We're right there. Now our poor pony statue, it fell down, unfortunately. Now I don't think there's any supply crates around here. I've never... Well, I have before, like way in the past when I played this game, but I can't remember if there are any supply crates or not, but it doesn't look like it. No. Okay, so... Dog lifted the combine wall up, so we'll Long go through. through. Gordon. And if you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said... Oh my goodness. We made it, you guys. We made it past the most difficult chapter, and we enter our benefactors. That's what Dr. Breen calls the Combine, our benefactors, as if they benefit us at all. They take away our rights, they enslave us, they turn us into abominable creatures. Not good. They are not our benefactors, and that's why we're invading this citadel. To kill the one who is the administrator of it all. But that will be for next time. Only two chapters to go, everybody. And they're much shorter than this one. So until then, Chapter 12, I'm Big Mac Davis, and I shall see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.